I'm a theoretician at heart. I work in the application of seismology, usually to the earth. I look at problems of how you extract information from complex data sets. Um, in seismology, we create a lot of complex data sets, usually by measuring the um, vibrations of the earth from earthquakes and other um, natural sources or artificial sources. And the game I'm usually playing is how you can use that information to tell you something about the earth itself or the nature of the source, um, i.e. an earthquake. The most difficult problems in my field are thought to be unsolvable. How do we really take these complex data sets and use everything in the data set to describe the Earth or to constrain the Earth? We use the information to understand um, physical processes in the Earth, i.e. the motion of the plates and, and the structure. My sort of personal little buzz is about um, really finding a, a beautiful new method to um, do something with data that you couldn't do before, um, ask questions that you couldn't ask before. So I, I find sort of tools of analysing data to be uh, exciting and powerful things. In some respects it's the opposite to what most scientists do. They often have a problem and then look for a tool. Um, I, I, I do that but I'm also excited by tools that then need to find applications. Because I'm interested in data science and inference, uh, that brings me into contact with statisticians, mathematicians, physicists of course, and increasingly computer scientists and engineers. My secret has always been to uh, talk to people from a wide variety of backgrounds who look at similar problems and they bring fresh ideas. And I think that's probably one of the uh, more distinguishing things about my career.